Do you want to scare your players when they're in your world? Do you want to make them scream? Oh, sweet jumping Jesus! Well, this is the video for you today. I'm going to show you some really, really simple techniques to really get the most out of your maps. So what we're going to do, we're going to use a number of devices. This is a very quick video because this is so quick and so easy to do. So if we use the taco stand as a point of reference for today, we're going to go into our um, inventory. Now, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need the explosive device. You are going to need a trigger. Um, you're also, now what I thought would be quite cool also, to give you some ideas too, um, if you grab one of the accolade devices, which is this one just here, you can even jump scare people. And even from them jump scares, you can even give them XP for it. So, oh, right. Right. so it's not so much of a blow on the heart. Um, and also what we could do to try and trick people as well, because sometimes, you know, uh, jump scares and being made jump, you know, the least you expect it, the worst of the jump. And um, we're actually going to get some collectible objects as well. So if we use the tacos to begin with as our point of reference, and um, for example if we use it so when this person goes through the door they then get a really really big jump scare so what we're going to do we are going to place down the explosive device and we're also going to place down the trigger so i'm going to make sure your drops are on so if not there might be if not there might be a little bit of a bump when they're walking up and down so this is what we're going to do now we've got an explosive device and we have the trigger so let's go into the settings of the trigger first you then go to the four lines. Again, I would recommend at the top, you rename um, this as maybe, if you've got multiple triggers, like trigger um, door, trigger taco, trigger Christmas, wh wherever it is. Um, so let's go through some settings. Activating team, um, for, the, for this video, I'm gonna put any, but again, you can have, if you've got you know multiple teams, you can set it so it only triggers by a certain team. Um, and then also invert team selection, that means anyone but the team you've chosen. Um, activating team, any visible in game. Now I am gonna turn this off because we don't want to know that, to tell people that your trigger is actually gonna be because they're going to expect something um, so we're going to turn that off enabled on game start yes triggered by player yes and um, you can also have any trigger triggered by damage by items and vehicles and creatures and sinkers and by water but for this we are going to do it i want a player to trigger this and i want them to be made jump so i'm going to turn that one on um let me scroll the whole way down now it says times you can trigger i'm going to put one for this because you know sometimes people do put infinite but sometimes it might be a bit like over i mean like with bangs and then because the more sort of jump scares you have in it they may they may sort of get immune a little bit so they won't be as effective so we're going to have one for this and we don't want any delays because the moment they touch the trigger we want that to activate and um, i guess we we do want sounds and we do want a visual effect as well so we are going to be keep keeping those on so this means basically receive damage when invisible so again you can again transmit in every duh, 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 duh. again with those i usually keep those the same again we just don't want to touch many settings because most of it is already okay for us so then what we do is we scroll along and it says on triggered send event to and that's what we want so i'm going to add i'm going to select my device and i go down to um which i'm going to go down to the explosive device too because i know um that this is explosive device two that's in front of me so select function and it will um explode yeah so boom so as you can then see, this is, again, this is the explosive device too. We're going to go into this next. So we need to link them both together. So it says can be damaged on or off. Now I will turn that off because I just want it to be a jump scare, a scare and nothing more. Now this is the blast radius. It tells you how big you want the boom boom, which I usually keep it the same, but again, you can have it bigger or smaller. Um, this is weather player damage wherever you want it. So when it goes bang, wherever you want it to actually hurt your players. Now I usually switch that off. So player damage is zero. So we're going to turn that off. Do, 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 zero. There we go. Um, structure damage so does it destroy anything around um, your map i actually usually put this on damage again i put it on zero but again if you're playing something like um i know red versus blue and you want them to when it basically jump scares or you know explodes you wanted to destroy another opposing team's you know build or your own build then again i would have that on but for this it just want it to be a jump scare i don't want to destroy any other buildings around because i want to keep these where they are um so again not back this means like when it goes boom how far back you want your player to jump so we've got high very high super high we'll just go i usually go low for this because i don't want them to if i'm doing this in like a death run or an escape room i don't want them to fly back too much you can actually turn it off completely but sometimes i like to have a bit of a low because it <gasps> bit of the speed with the bang then sometimes it can make people go Whoa, and disorientate a little bit and as you put you know makes it a bit more scary um so again um explosion puts me again all of these switching the audio on yes a lot of this you don't actually have to touch again visibility please turn that off especially if you let's say you know if you want that to be there for decoration happy days but i don't want to let people know what's about to happen so we are going to turn that on collision during games um off again i want it to be something collision i want them to go straight through it so it's not like a big thing in the way yeah, cause it's going to be invisible they're not going to know what's there so switch that off um show the health bar no um, and I think, just making sure, I think that is, yeah, so again, you can have a barrel, you can have a bomb instead, if you wish, um, which looks like this, like a little bomb, but again, no one's going to see that, so it doesn't really matter what it looks like. So, 
Um, so yeah, so it says explode when receiving from. We're going to select the device. We're then going to go down to the um, the trigger. So we're going to go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I've got so many things in here. Oh, I didn't even realise. So trigger two. There we go. And then on triggered. Okay. So that's how we set this up. So I'm now going to show you what this looks like. So what I did, I kept this visible just so I can actually see exactly where I've put my trigger. I didn't forget. So as we walk over it. Boom! See that? Big boom buddy boom <laughs> We are now going to set up the Accolade device. So all you do is you go into your Accolade device, and then, again, you can name this Jump Scare Boom. That's what I put that on. You know, can you have any name you want on any description? Um, a limited award count? Yes. I only want you to get one lot of XP for this particular thing, because, again, it only goes off once. Um, the XP, you can have it set to whatever you like, but in the ratio of you getting XP for everything, let's have it on large. If you spam too much with one lot, then your map will never be... Um, What's the word? Never be published because it will say you need a variety of XP awards. Um, we're going to go yes, gameplay only, be triggered um, and enabled. Yes, please, um, by triggered player only. And then that's that. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go, oh, I'm not going to test it. We're going to go over to this, award when receiving from. So we go onto this, select device, and we want explosive device two. So basically, when that bomb goes boom, that, that jump scare happens, then you will get the XP because it will then be sent to the accolade device. And when it's exploded, you'll then get the XP. So, okay. So the next part of the video, just to give you like a little bit of ideas. So again, when they least expect it, like for example, going through a door, maybe going up to an objective um, that they need. So for example, you could even put one of the um, triggers outside a door like this or a button. So it, their focus is focused on obviously what the items are needed. However, they didn't realize there's going to be boom as they then come up to it. Also dropping in, for example, a collectible device. They might look from a distance and be like, oh, look, shiny coin. And then boom. Yeah. So sometimes again, it's about... Um, trying to um, catch people off guard. It really is trying to catch people off guard and, uh, you know, jump scaring them when they least expect it. So, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video today. And uh, if you like this video, give it a like. Because if you didn't like it, then hey, let me know some feedback. And also, if you guys need help with your maps, please let me know. This jump scare video was based on what somebody asked me to do. So, again, I'm all up for helping you guys. Again, thank you so much for the amazing support over the last few videos. Anything you need help with, again, please comment down below. So, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video.